Scorpions, metal band out of Germany, rocking us with Still Loving You. Now they're gonna team up with gentleman rocker Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer for his next album? Well, I guess he's gonna toughen up his act on that LP. Anyway, I'm Ronnie James Dio, your guest host for tonight's Headbangers Ball. And joining me here in the studio is Ron Keel. Hey, Ron. Hi, Ron. How you Back doing? Back together again. Yes, we are. The airwaves. Absolutely. Um, I guess maybe you should know a little bit of history about Ron Keel and I. Uh, we did uh, the Texas Jam together. That was last year. We also did an entire tour of Europe together uh, about a year and a half ago, I think that was, Ron. And, That's right. Uh, what a time that was. Sure was. It was the first time anybody had taken us out on a, a big major tour in so many countries, and we still have many fond memories of that tour, especially when your bass player Jimmy and I uh, co-wrote the song Calm Before the Storm, a song that appears on our new album called Keel. Um, Jimmy Bain and I, Ronnie's bass player, uh, co-wrote this beautiful ballad in like three or four different countries as we went along on the tour. That was a great memory. Mostly in bars. Mostly in bars and backstage and hotel rooms and, and pieced it together and, and now there it is on the new record and it's working great live. Right. I remember that night very well. You, you two uh, were making a lot of noise and we all left. Yeah. They, they, I still have some memories of that night. Left that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. We had a, we had a, a really an excellent tour of Europe. Uh, it was our pleasure to have Keel on, on the bill with us. The guys are great. Well, thank you. And uh, I'm glad it's all still going for and you. here we are again. Great rock and roll band. Yes, here we are again. And we'll talk some more with Ron Keel. And we'll check out their latest video in just a few minutes. We've also got Hurricane, The Crew, and Anthrax right after this. Hey, this is Ron Keel, and we're going to show you some killer concert Keel tour dates here. This first show tomorrow night is our last show on tour with Bon Jovi. And then we head out on the road on our own with EZO supporting us on all these other shows. And we hope to see you out there on the road. Hi again, Ronnie James Dio back with you here and with Ron Keel. And when we're on the subject of Ron Keel, we have the Keel LP right here. And I'd like to ask Ron a question about this one. There's a song on this LP called United Nations. And it appears that you had 75 backup singers on this one. Can you tell us something about that? Not all of them were singers. They were all singing, though. It was... Uh people from the record company, our management, our roadies, wives, girlfriends, anybody who had uh, helped us through the years and I wanted to give them an opportunity to be on the record with us and to actually participate in it and also one of the most massive chorus in history. And we took those 75 people and sang the same chorus to United Nations over and over again 20 times and then achieved the effect of 1,500 or so voices. I don't know how many people there, I lost count. But uh, it sounds like a live audience singing the background vocal. It's the most massive chorus in history. I think, and it uh, also achieved the result of getting all the people that were in the Keel family involved in the record as well. Did you pay them? No, no. no well, I the didn't. man from the union, <laughs> he's going to come after you. Uh, tell us something about the video. The video is real special to us because it's the first time we've done a totally performance video. Just Keel in concert, no con concept, no um, surrealistic images or anything like that. We wanted to show people what we do live and we went back to the first place where we ever did a concert at Perkins Palace in Pasadena where we made our debut a few years back, filmed the video with an audience of all Keelaholics and those people that, that were there at the video shoot are the reason for the energy that the band has in this video because it felt like a concert, it looked like a concert and it is a piece of the Keel concert on tape, and this is it. We're going to show it to you now. Keel, somebody's waiting. And we're back again, back with Ron Keel. Now, Ron's going to leave us in just a second. Before he does, um, you're on the road with Bon Jovi at the moment, is that right? That's right. We started with Motley Crue, and now we're out with Bon Jovi, and that ends all tomorrow night at Nassau, and now we showed him the tour dates. I hope to see That's you right. out there on the road sometime soon. Well, Ron. you will. We'll be back together again. It was a great pleasure when we were together before, and it's always good to see you and the guys in the band. And just one more time, this is the new Keel album, and I bought this LP, and I expect you to run out and do exactly the same. It's a good one. So again, thanks, Ron. Thank really you, appreciate Ron. it, my friend. Uh, now, this is a Headbangers Ball, and I'm Ronnie James Dio, in case you've forgotten, or I've forgotten. I'm your tour guide through this evening of earth-shaking, metal-crunching, ear-wrenching music. Now, the Saturday Night Mayhem continues with the explosive band from Norway, TNT, and their song, Tell No Tales album, Everyone Will Stop. I'm Ronnie James Dio, bringing you Hour 2 of the Headbangers Ball. If you're a big fan of Wham! and Whitney Houston, you better go to bed. It's too late for you. Well, I've got killer videos from Ace Fraley, Quiet Riot, and Twisted Sister on the way. And right now, check out the live act of one of Metal's lifetime achievers, Judas Priest, and you've got another thing coming. That's the debut of a family ghost from King Diamond, a really 
unusual performer. Now, I'm Ronnie James Dio, your headbanging guest host. Uh, we'll be playing ourselves at Castle Donington on the 22nd of August, and you've been having a contest here at MTV, and we have a winner. The winner's going to be spending a week with Anthrax. That'll be at Castle Donington. Our winner is Shelly Rivas. She's from Asheville, North Carolina. Congratulations, Shelly. Have a good time. We'll see you there. Now stay put for videos by Heathen, Quiet Riot, Twisted Sister, right after this. I'm Ronnie James Dio, your guest host for tonight's Headbangers Ball. And our next clip is an odd pair to be on the show. James Young, who's better known as JY, who's better known as ex-guitarist of Styx, which certainly doesn't classify as a metal band, and Jan Hammer, who's a Miami Vice man and instrumentalist. When they got together in 1985, they put out some hard driving rock and roll on JY's debut solo album, City Slicker. And here's a debut of JY and Jan Hammer with Wild Dogs. Well, I'm sorry to say that that's about it for this week's edition of the Headbangers Ball. I'm Ronnie James Dio, and thanks for joining me. If you like the song I played for you at the top of the show, it's from our new album. The album is called Dream Evil, so check it out if you like. And to close, here's one of the most influential bands in metal history. One of my all-time favorites. Great, great rock and roll band. Angus Young and the boys of ACDC with Put the Finger on You.